Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this series of videos, we are going to learn about the new features from Oracle 18C version. In the first video, I am going to uh, talk about the new feature called uh, treating a, a character data as a JSON document. Okay, just before starting with the functionality, let us just quickly understand what is a JSON document. A JSON document is simply represented as a name value pair. Here, the entire information is enclosed in a curly braces which holds the name and the value. All the names are typically represented as a string value and the values can be can be an integer, null value, string or an array of values. A simple empty JSON can be represented with two curly braces as shown here. Uh, here is a very simple JSON document which has an employee name and the name of the employee. Here is a, another JSON document where the uh, first attribute is a boolean value and the second is a null value another JSON document where we have a list of uh, name value pair attributes. So here is a, another JSON document where the values are represented as a uh, array. The arrays are enclosed within the square braces and the values are separated by comma. So in, in fact the array can have a sub JSON document as shown here. For more details I would recommend everyone to just go through this json.org which has all the information regarding to the JSON. Uh, starting from uh, Oracle 12, Oracle started introducing a lot of uh, JSON related uh, uh, new functionalities and the main reason is uh, recently with the introduction of NoSQL databases and um, most of the applications start communicating with in terms of either a JSON document or XML document or, or any other format of document. Uh, it becomes a quite a standard uh, that uh, every language started supporting the uh, JSON related functionalities. Though from uh, 12 onwards Oracle support lot of functionalities, from 18C Oracle allows uh, developers to read the text data as a JSON document so that we can extract the information out of them. This functionality we are going to learn through two use cases. In the first use case, we are going to store uh, JSON whatever show, shown here uh, into the database and we are going to extract this information as a relational data. For example, the location and the number of employees as stored in as a string which contains a JSON document, we are going to extract the information as a relational data as shown like this. In the use case 2, we are going to take a little bit more complex JSON where we have actually stored an array of employee list and we are going to write a SQL to extract all these information as shown here. So we are going to write and we are going to extract the names. Okay. Let us first start with the use case one. Okay, So uh, here is a table what I have created called department underscore document and I have column called department underscore detail. So basically this table is going to store the information about the department, something like the uh, department number, name of the department and some additional information about the department, what, what I am storing in the department underscore details column. This additional information I am storing as a string. So you can see the data type as a C log. So I am storing this information as a character data. In this character data, we are actually storing a JSON document. You can see here. So which which actually holds a two name value pair attribute, the location name and the number of employees working in the department. So what we are going to do is we are going to write a SQL which is going to extract this information and it is going to display as a uh, row column value. I'm using the Oracle Live SQL uh, currently, which is running in 18C, so that uh, we can see all this uh, demo in the Live SQL. So I'm creating the department underscore documents table, and I am populating the uh, department related detail. All these informations are populated. Let us just query back from uh, department underscore documents table. So the results are stored in the uh, the data, the JSON data are stored in the department underscore document table. Okay, now we can try to write a query which can retrieve the uh, values from this JSON uh, data. Okay, so I'm just giving an alias here. Let us say uh, D. So I'm saying D dot department number, D dot department name and D dot department underscore This is in fact just retrieving the uh, character data as such whatever is stored in the database. Now we are going to treat department detail as the 
JSON data. In fact, this is the new functionality provided by Oracle ATNC. So you say treat whatever the data you want to treat as a JSON, you say as JSON. Let us give an alias here. Let's say B underscore JSON. Okay. Now we can write a um, inline so we will make this as an inline query so that we'll extract the attributes from the outside query select star from let us say i'm giving an alias called department here and from outer query i'm saying department dot department number comma department dot d name comma department dot so here you need to give the json alias followed by the name of the json field location sorry d e p t yeah now we are able to access the location let us try to access the number of employees also Now we are able to access the uh, values from a, a JSON data which is stored as a string inside the table. So one uh, key thing you should uh, note down here is uh, whatever the key value you are uh, mentioning in the select clause should exactly match with the key value what is stored. In case if you are giving as a lowercase uh, here and if in case if you have stored as an uppercase then oracle will not retrieve it so the uh, case should exactly match so you can use it uh, like this also you can mention it within double quote also okay okay now that we have actually returned the query uh, to read the json value which is stored as a character inside the database the key learning from this uh, query is that you have to use treat character as a json so this is the function new function uh, new functionality available from 18c onwards let us start looking at the uh, second use case where we are actually going to store a, a array of information so here i am using the same table in the department underscore detail column we are actually storing a json document which contains the array of employee name so now we are going to write a query which is going to retrieve each and every individual employee names uh, from this json information i have actually created the department uh, documents table with uh, uh, three json uh, document information as a string data type okay you can see the content of the table now we are going to write a sql which is going to extract this location information number of employee information and we are going to individually extract each and every uh, employee okay let us just start select department number comma d name comma department details from employee <coughs> okay. now we can say treat as json let us give an alias here saying department json now we can write select let us give an alias name for our inner query let us say department department dot department number comma department dot department name comma department dot department json from So till here, uh, uh, we know like uh, we can use that uh, treat as JSON function, which returns as a JSON data type from where we can extract. We can say dot location, which extract the location information. And we can say dot number of employees. Okay. 
Number of one second. So let us check our uh, let's check our column and number of employees and employee list. So we will say dot department JSON dot location then we will say dot number of employees then we can say dot employee list okay now uh, we are able to actually extract the location information a number of employees and the employee list if you see here the employee list is actually extracted as a string value so since the that the entire string contains the uh, square brace the entire array is represented as a string actually we have not extracted individual information we have extracted the whole array as a string now we we will try to extract each and every individual value we can use the array subscript the exactly the same way how we used to do in the v array so it starts from zero so we can say zero it's the first employee let us say employee one so in fact this extract the first employee from the that is the first uh, subscript value we can say employee two I'm trying to extract all the five employees from the array three Now we are able to extract all the uh, all the employee information so in case if there is no subscript value it just returns a null value by default yeah now we have extracted all the information uh, from a, a json a string or a, from a json document document which is stored as a character data inside the database table now you are able to see the key learning here is that one is like use the treat as a json uh, functionality the next is extracting the individual fields and extracting the array value so that we are now able to extract the information exactly from array as well as from the individual attributes as shown here thank you for watching the video please share your comments